Pence and Standard Network charges apply. It's uh, the time for the paper review with the Sun Football and Natasha Henry. Good morning, Natasha. Hi, Natasha. Good morning, guys. How are yeah. you? Yeah, good, good. Can you believe Wagatha Christie was this season? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Emery was this season. <laughs> I know. I was just saying that. I miss Good Evening, but I feel like he left about two years ago. It's extraordinary. And Pochettino, by the way, as well. Very yes. strange. Yeah, it, it, it does feel like a, a whole nother lifetime ago. Yeah, and if you're a Newcastle fan, uh, I reckon news of the Saudi Arabian takeover feels like it was about four seasons ago as well, unfortunately. <laughs> but that is still going through, apparently. Uh, so there we go. Natasha, where would you like to start with our look at the papers today? Um, I think we have to start with Frank Lampard and Jurgen Klopp. And Oh, yeah. I mean... I don't even want to call it handbags because it's it's more like a little purse. It's 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 not really a feud. <laughs> it's um, a clutch. It's a clutch bag. Yeah, it's a clutch bag. Yeah, maybe with a little sparkly strap. Um, <laughs> so after the game um, the other day, obviously Liverpool beating Chelsea five three. Um, it's come out that Lampard wasn't happy with some of Klopp's backroom staff and their behaviour on the bench. So the Mel go with Klopp and Lampard ramp up their feud. The Mirror just have Lampard in big letters and the Sun say, shut it, Frank. And then Klopp says he has a lot to learn. I mean, we won't talk too much about this because I'm sure you guys are going to cover it later. But I was a little disappointed in, in Frank Lampard's reaction. Um, I understand he's, you know, he's sad that Chelsea aren't challenging for the title but it's an amazing achievement for Liverpool it's a really happy evening and I don't think he really needed to react like that I'm, I'm not sure what you guys think mm. but they did seem to be doing anything extraordinary no they um, weren't <laughs> no um it's quite a weird one we me and Georgie are gonna have a little bit of chat and um me and Lampard have only got a tiny bit of previous. I don't even know how to describe it really much well, more. He than... made it a big bit of previous. Yeah, it was but, a tiny um, bit on your radar. I, yeah. I just, <laughs> what I find, and I read what was said, um, Natasha, in the, the piece, and, and Frank talks about the, his assistants, not Klopp himself, but his assistants, and yeah. said they were smirking. Now, He's 20 metres away or 30 metres away and they, they sit there. They're not running around. You know, they're, they basically, they, they sit in their place. They get up and maybe jump up from score, which is joy, which every mm. bench will do. If you watch every bench at every level, they're all jumping up. They're all addling, blah. Okay. But to say they were smirking was like, well, how do you really know? <laughs> they're just they laughing and poking, poking, poking each other. Yeah. I found that a really strange but, thing to say that they were smirking. Yeah. You know, you know, it's like when sometimes you got something, you give, you say, "Oh, they looked at me strangely," and you're like, "Well, well, they didn't really do anything." <laughs> I, yeah, I, think this, I think in this situation, they've just won the title. I'm pretty sure most of them were sitting smirking all the hours they were awake this past week. Um, it, it doesn't feel like it was directed at him. Klopp makes the point that that things that happen on the pitch just stay on the pitch. I feel like he's a little disappointed that um, it's mm. even being discussed. He he very much says that he wouldn't have mentioned it if Lampard hadn't. Um, I think uh, we will come back to this later, but yeah. I think having sk thin skin as a player is an ammunition you use to be better and to win more. Having thin skin as a manager is something that I think is already a problem for Frank Lampard. Um, and also someone like Klopp, is exceptionally good at turning the other cheek. He will be all fire and brimstone on the touchline, and after the game, he'll be like, well, it's part of the game. And it's very yeah. rare that Klopp hasn't kept it as part of the game, and it's actually something that most managers... It's like a, it's like an exercise in control, like with boxing. Boxing is not about violence. Boxing is about control and learning to take your opportunities in, within control as you do them. And, and Lampard's got to learn to step away from the touchline and just breathe and all of that. So, yeah, I'm not surprised it's made the papers. It's quite funny, actually, because, as you say, it's not proper handbags, really. Um, it's slightly pathetic handbags. It's like... It's like two people kind of, you know, when you watch, you know, when you see an actual fight in real life and you're like, yeah. this is pathetic. Like, it's <laughs> never like the movies. You're always like, God, you're pathetic. Stop. Yeah, what just you, go I home. Mean, go home, all of you. That's what it is. But it's quite funny. But once you think you're in, you're out. Because you don't mean a thing without the handbags and the glad rags that your granddad had to sweat to. Bye.